Welcome back my comrades, I am Victor Barisov and today I have a Fallout 4 build challenge and this build challenge was given to us by Cordless VII in his Discord. This challenge is to decorate apartment 8 what Cordless built as a mod, mod for everybody to use, it's on PC, Xbox and PS4 and to decorate this apartment theme was for his birthday, so it's Cordless's birthday. And this challenge was to actually just decorate it any way we wanted, anyhow, and see how it is. So let's jump in game. See so yes, us guys. This build is quite easy-ish. But it did take me a bit of time. I had to tweak a lot of things. I did bulldoze around the walls. So that's what took me a bit of time. But that is all good. So I'm going to go upstairs and see what I've done. So let's have a look. First thing I need to do while I remember, I think. No, let's just go straight into the apartment. Be perfect, fine. So, are you ready for this, guys? Oh, no, with that, I best feed. Is it Susan or Toby? I know Cole told me to feed one of his cats while he was away out of town, but he's coming back soon. So, I best feed his cats. So, let's have a look. Do you have any food? No, you don't. And the cat is in here somewhere. Might like a tomato. There's no cat food. Cord didn't leave any, so I'll give it a tomato. Oh. Please go in the bowl. Nope. Damn it. Go in the bowl. Okay, the cat can... It's kind of gone into the bowl. The cat can eat it. Cat, you've got some tomato. I hope you like it. I'll try and find some cat food for you in the wasteland somewhere. So, right. Let's go to my apartment. Or this apartment I decorated. This was quite fun. And a lot of hard work. So, as you can see here, guys, we do have a little coat rack umbrella hat and the rest and this is the first little room and this room is just a little utility closet there's washer dryer braxo basket mop bucket and a little mr handy poster about braxo on the wall so that's all i did really in there and over here guys is a little drink spa don't know if you can quite see that very well but there is them oh great more leaf flits about the nuclear holocaust what's coming I'm going to be in a vault, people. I'm not helping out with it. Let's go. And my books and the rest. That's all that. And over here is the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen area. But, as you can see, I took a bit of time decorating this. This is why it took so long. I had bulldoze all this and tried to snap the walls into place. What was very much hard work. But I did manage it eventually, guys. As you can see. I have all the kitchen nicely done. There's a cooker built in, coffee machine, shelves, a fridge, what's built into the work units. There's a couple of lights, an extractor fan, and a TV. There's all this here. There's a little sink in the middle as well, as you can see. And a nice little trim around the concrete top so people can sit there and look what you're doing or have a chat. Or you can just watch the game on this small TV in the kitchen. But we do have a newer one back here, guys. What is the big fireplace? I decided to build out a brick and put a TV there. We've got some nice couches with some lamps on it in the rest. So it's all quite nice. This is just a very basic empty living room. But we do have a cat or dog bowl there. Depends if we have any cats or dogs here. But just depends. In here is the main bedroom. So we just have a little dresser, little chairs. I did black out all the windows with better boards than Cord had put up originally in this apartment. Because his boards were all jackety, so I just decided to pull it down, put white boards up to cover up the windows so it look a bit nicer. And the shower room and bathrooms all the same. I just basically pulled them and just built them myself. So yeah, all the windows look nicer and everything like that. So I think that went well. But I do have one last thing to show. This is the last room I built in this apartment. See, I did bulldoze all the walls and rebuild it differently. But before I go in, guys, I'd just like to say, this one room took me forever to do, just to get right, as you see. And it says, happy birthday. So, cordless, this is the party room. As you can see, guys, I hand-placed everything on this table. There is plates for a bowl, knife, fork, spoon, cup and a napkin. Took forever to place them because they are all static items. And one wrong move sent them flying everywhere so it took me for hours to do that. But if we go over here guys, you will see a giant cake. Perfectly preserved pre-war cake. Edible 100%. Took hours to make and to get up these stairs. Elevator. An elevator would have been really appreciated in this apartment. 
cordless. Just saying, apartment elevators are very ca handy. And as you can see, we've got a ton of wine here and ales and beers. But as you can see here, guys, all on this wall is collector's edition drinks. So we've got different wines there. You see, we've got two different kinds, in case you fancy some older or newer ones. We've got your different ales, beers, ciders, everything like that, guys, you might want inside this big room. So nice few little presents, nice big cake, nice little party table, nice lights and LEDs, and here is the another bathroom just in case you need it, because this was going to be a bedroom, but it's the party room for today. So yes guys, if you like this, so yeah, I just hope you like this little build I did guys, it's just a little bit different, you know, nice little party room, something I'm not normally used to building small spaces, but I think this one worked well. But don't worry guys, I am going to have the horror build coming soon. That should be on Monday, hopefully, if my plan's correct. If not, it'll be soon out after that. But if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions at all about this birthday build or anything like that, guys, put them down in the comments below and I'll try and answer the best of my ability I can, guys. But until next time, I am Victor Barisoff, signing off. Until next time, guys, bye.